Hi, Chris here for Thank you, and welcome to the channel where well, today we are going to speak about Fun Season for Windows 10 and what is it all about. So let's get started now. For those who didn't saw my previous video about how to use Aero Snap or Shape for Windows 10, I will post the link for this video just down below with a comment. You can as well if you want like and subscribe at the same time. According to Wikipedia, Microsoft Power Toys is a set of systems designed since Windows 95. Of course, since then, it has been improved. You can find it also in the description down below. I will put uh, the link for you to download. But in this video, we will go only about how to use the split screen only. As the name of this video suggests, it's an improvement of uh, IRO snaps or at least to me, it improved it greatly, especially if you are doing uh, streaming or video conferencing. This will allow you to set templates and to be more efficient. We do have to download, of course, the application or the set of applications. To do so, just click on the in the description down below. Once you click on it, you will arrive at GitHub. Right? You scroll down until you see PowerToy setup and this is for the 64 version. If you want something else, just leave a comment down below and I will see what I can do for you. Once I click here, you will see here it appears. I can run directly, save, which I advise you to do, or if I click on here with a left click, save as, and I can go to the download. This is how my uh, my save it's set up. It's to go directly to the download. Usually it's the last location where you download something. Anyway, click on save. Once this is done, you can again run. I do not advise you. It's always best to scan the file first or to let Windows scan the file. Okay, you can open the folder or view the download. I won't open the folder because I know where it is. And in case you don't know, you can go to view download. If you click on here, it will install directly. So I clear this first. And now I can press the window key on my keyboard and here, you can see I have the download. There it is. I can right click on here. I will do that because this will install a set of application which run on Windows. So I prefer to do this. I'm not sure if it's the right things to do, but I prefer to do so. Once I click on here, you can see it asks you what to do next. Usually we have to read the license. I click next. Here you can change if you want to the destination where you can install. For me, I will leave it at my C drive program and under Power Toy. So I click OK, but you can click Cancel. If you change something and you don't know, it will come back to here. You can also, if you want, that's what I will do, click for automatically start when we log on and the shortcut as well. So I click Next. You can uh, click Next, Install or go back. If you want to revise, I will install. And it might take a while, depending on your systems, of course. Uh, as you can see here, it doesn't take that long. This is because of my systems. But here you will notice that it stops. Just be patient. All right. It might take a while. Okay. And this especially depending on your system. As you can see, we are done here. It, can, it still says 77%. Don't worry about that. Just click finish. And here you can see you are 100%. I click here to go to the desktop and I have the shortcut here. Double click to launch the power toy. And you can see here, I have it here. You can see that it's launched, but nothing happened. Don't worry, just go in here. You have the power toy. You can double click and then this appears. I make it bigger for you guys, like so. And you can see I have a few settings for us if you want. If you don't know what are they and you want me to go through, okay, for today we just go with the fancy zone here, all right, and you can see you have a lot of setting here. So if you want me to go through one of those, simply let me know in the comment down below and if I have a request, I might explain to you what those are and how they work and how to configure them. Back to launch zone editor. You can see you have a shortcut here. If you want to on your keyboard, you can change this. It tells you more about the value key and so on. But be aware that if you change this, it might conflict with another shortcut that you have. So if you are not sure about that and you want to know more, leave a comment down below. I can let you know more about that. Okay. 
This here, basically, it's to hold the Shift key when you activate the window you want to move around. This is for configuring. I will, we will come back to that later. This, if you want, you can do this. Basically, non-primary mouse button uh, means that if you want to configure, if you have a mouse with uh, micro keys, the primary button are basically the left click, the right click, and the scroll button. You can, if you want, override window snap this I will do though. You can watch my video on this and it will tell you more about the window snap with the arrow keys. You can also move window based on their position if you want and move windows between zones across all monitors. This is if you have multiple sets of monitors, one or more. Keep window in their zone when the screen resolution changes. I will advise you to do that. Okay. This is when you switch games or application. If you want window, the window to stay, let's say, on the left, then it will stay. It's good when you are streaming for this. Then you have the zone layout changes. You can click here if you want to keep it set okay, for the position and the size. You can, if you want as well, when you are streaming this also, either annoying or either convenient, you have to play with it for you to see. This one is experimental. All the rest here, just please look at it. Here you can set the default color for the inactive or active zone. Here I will put it to gray, like this I know, and the zone border, of course, I'll leave it. And you can, if you want, exclude application for the snapping zone in here, if you want to. As you see here, as Outlook will be on full screen if you put it in here. Once you launch the Outlook, it will go on full screen, doesn't matter or what you have set here, because it's the excluded apps in here, right? So now we launch the editors and in here you can set, as you can see here, I do not know whether I include one, maybe there is a need for that. Three would be nice. As you can see, you have the main window and two others. You can modify if you want to when we go to custom. You have the space around the zone here and you can edit the selected layout as well if you want to. You don't have to go to custom. Let's say I want my top one in here. When you do a video conferencing, the top one will remain in here. So let's say I select this one here. You can see it's here and I can edit the selected layout. This line here that you can see that I move over, if you click on it, it will split the screen. The number one will split in two. So this will become three and this one four, okay? Right, now you can adjust here if you want bigger or smaller. So let's say you are doing a video conferencing, you want your video, let's move this on the side here. You want your video to be, huh? your camera is on top here. You want to look at the screen here like this. It seems like you are looking uh, at the camera and at your host or whatever window you have here. The second one, if I want, I can minimize it, make it bigger, all right? You can save and apply. You can rename the layout or you can, if you want, as I was saying, do three and four in here. I cancel this. For me, I want this layout here or I will put a custom. For the custom one, you can create a new template. You press on edit. And you need to add zones, of course. So I will add three zones. And on my keyboard, I press the Shift key. This will activate the window that I want to move. And select to put it. All right. So like so. No need to click on Shift, though. <laughs> like so. And this one here. Then when you go on the border, you can adjust the zones. All right. So I can do like so like so. So you can see how convenient it is. So here I can rename it if I want. I can do the YouTube stream, for example. You can rename it, whatever you want, of course. And save and apply. I can close this. Let's say I open this one here, this one here, and this one here. Whenever I press shift, the window I want to reposition, I just have to move it where I want to snap it, according to the preselection I made earlier. If you want to find out where your save file is, you don't have to worry. 
you just go back to the power toy settings, fancy zone, and lunch zone editors. And here it is. You can see if I have my YouTube streams. So you can, if you want, select again, delete it, rename it, do whatever you want with it. There is no need to click on the apply button. So I'm going to close this now and I'll show you the next steps to the power toy settings, fancy zone and lunch zone editors. And here it is for me. Now I will select this one, adjust it and rename it and I am good to go. I do hope that this video was useful to you. If it is, you can do your YouTube things like if you want to subscribe, you may as well. And if you want to be notified every time I post a new video, simply press the bell icon. Stay safe guys and bye now.